hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, sunken uh, front and nails you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and uh, share these videos and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know. and now i come to the topic uh, what are or what is the sunken uh, fontanel you know you know the newborn babies uh, they have several uh, fontanels you know and uh, these are the more commonly known as the soft spots and uh, they provide the skull with the flexibility which is needed to pass through the birth canal you know or the pass through the vagina you know and uh, this flexibility also allows your bo um, bodies uh, like uh, baby's bodies and the brain and the skull to grow during the first year of life you know and in newborns the soft spots are found on the top on the back and the side of the head you know and these are the most common areas where you can see those you know and the number of soft spots are on your uh, baby's hand depend on their age you know and uh, fontanel on the back of the head usually disappears uh, by one to two months of age you know and uh, you may never be able to feel or see this one and uh, the one on the top of the head remains present until uh, seven to uh, 19 months you know and the baby soft spots should be relatively firm and uh, uh, curve ever so slightly inward you know and a soft spot with the noticeable inward curve is known as sunken fontanel you know and this condition requires immediate medical attention and uh, uh, it's usually easy to treat you know and uh, the next thing is what causes uh, a sunken fontanel you know well there are several potential causes of the sunken fontanel number one is the dehydration okay and uh, like uh, uh, vascular disease you know or maybe failure to thrive you know or maybe toxic uh, mega colon you know or uh, a diabetes uh, in spades you know so these are the uh, most common uh, causes you know and in case of dehydration you know it takes uh, place when your body loses more fluid than you drink you know and the most common cause of the water loss from the body is an excessive sweating and this condition is considered a medical emergency and uh, urgent care is needed you know to replace the fluids and electrolytes you know and uh, uh, washer coat is a serious form of uh, malnutrition which is caused by lack of uh, protein and the failure to thrive means the child is said to have failure to thrive when they don't meet uh, like uh, recognized standards of growth and the toxic megagolon is uh, rare and it's a life-threatening widening of the large intestine and uh, it's usually complication of the inflammatory bowel disease you know and this is a medical emergency too and otherwise the diabetes uh, in spirits you know which means that also known as a di you know uh, it's not a form of diabetes but instead there are uh, like a rare condition that occurs when your kidneys uh, are not able to uh, conserve the water you know okay so i will explain these conditions in separate videos now the next question is uh, how do doctors diagnose this uh, uh, sun confront you know well if your baby has a sun confidential you should seek medical attention as soon as possible and this is a, not a symptom you should try to treat at home you know you need to find the cause and uh, to treat that root cause you know which is causing this uh, condition you know and uh, when the doctor examines your baby they will first do the physical examination and this includes like looking at the and feeling the affected area you know and your doctor will also likely assess your body's uh, like uh, skin elasticity you know and the poor elasticity can 
may be a sign of the low fluid levels you know or the dehydration you know and the, the amount of the moisture in the eyes and the mouth can also provide clues about uh, the baby's uh, level of hydration you know and the doctor will ask uh, about uh, the symptoms and it's important to provide uh, as much information as possible and this will help your doctor to diagnose the under underlying cause you know and the doctor will likely want to know when the problem appeared and how you would rank the severity of the symptom considering to the normal appearance of the soft spots you know and note whether the baby has been sick recently or if the baby recently had uh, any bouts of vomiting or di diarrhea you know which uh, uh, cause the dehydration you know and uh, tell your doctor if there are any recent periods during which the baby uh, uh, like uh, uh, perspired you know more than usual and uh, uh, if your baby seems thirsty or whether the baby's uh, level of uh, alertness seems normal you know and then doctor may uh, uh, order the more tests like maybe a blood count or the urine samples you know and the specific test may include like complete blood count and this blood test may use the number of red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets you know and the electrolytes as well you know and uh, to detect any kind of anemia or maybe dehydration you know and the urine analysis involves a number of tests to check urine for any abnormalities that might indicate dehydration you know and another test you may need to is uh, uh, a comprehensive metabolic panel you know so this blood test to analyze uh, uh, it involves like a number of tests that uh, assess how well the various chemicals in the body are breaking down and using the food you know and it can now help to det detect an, any kind of the malnutrition you know once diagnosed then what are the treatment options you know if the dehydration is confirmed at uh, the cause of sunken uh, fontanelle you know your baby will either receive the fluids by mouth and uh, if they are not vomiting and are not al like uh, alert or uh, uh, throw in uh, maybe sometimes uh, through the intravenous you know uh, line will be inserted into their arm you know and uh, this will likely bring the fluid levels uh, back to the normal you know and if the malnutrition is the cause your baby will likely receive the oral or the iv nutrients you know as well as the fluids you know and uh, the best way to prevent uh, is to prevent the most common cause of it you know and which is dehydration okay so keep an eye on your the child's intake of the fluids and if there is any cause any dehydration right like uh, due to diarrhea or maybe vomiting you know so don't ignore it just consult your doctor uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition uh, and you need uh, further information you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and if you need more information uh, to see the video so you can uh, subscribe this channel for more information and more videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.